everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here today to show you my fabric haul for April, but before I do that, I want to talk to you about what I'm wearing, which is our Ella blouse. It's our newest PDF release, which is launched today. And I know I can't show it off like you probably want to see it, but I can wear it at the moment. It's a little wrap top. Now I've got it tied up here above the bump, but um, it's meant to be tied a bit lower down, but I can kind of roll it up. And it's got like a lovely sort of grown on sleeve. It's really simple. Um, there's um, a grown on facing as well, and it's just ties round the waist. Now you wouldn't believe it, but this pattern is one of the first that I ever designed for Sew Over It. Um, so when I first was planning Sew Over It, um, in terms of the shop and the classes, I um, had four patterns that I designed. This, the ultimate trousers, full circle skirt, actually no, there was, an, uh, there was a, a fitted shift dress or shift dress, and then came Betty afterwards. I think, yeah, that was it. They were the original patterns. And um, yeah, I just kind of loved this. I think it was very much inspired by Audrey Hepburn, kind of like a nice wrap sort of ballet type vibe that was sort of, cinches in at the waist and um, yeah we didn't really launch it as a class straight away I think it came as a class um, a bit later and I know that a lot of you have been waiting for it so um, yeah I knew that I had to release it as a pattern to um, today <laughs> this year so yeah it's finally been released into the wild as a pattern which is great but I absolutely love it and I wear it normally I'll wear it over um, um, Betty dresses or I wear it with my high-waisted uh, ultimate trousers when I have them with a like a waisted um, with a waistband I wear it with sort of high-waisted like the pencil skirt and my decades of style trousers and I also wear it over kind of looser tops so um, just like a looser kind of t-shirt something that's a bit baggy I wear it over that as well so yeah perfect for cotton rayons that kind of fabric you could probably make it out of chiffon and things as well so yeah Welcome Ella, welcome to the family of patterns. So right, let's get onto my fabric haul. Now I've got three fabrics to show you today. Um, I'm obviously massively slowing down on the sewing front, um, but I have still got three things that I'd like to make before um, the baby comes, so I'm gonna try. And because um, I'm so close to the end of my pregnancy now, there's no point in me making anything for now. So they're all gonna be things that I will wear afterwards. Right, let's start. I've got them here in my lovely new basket. Now, this basket is gonna be something you guys are gonna be finding out about tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow, there's gonna be an extra video to tell you all about this basket. Um, I'm not gonna say any more, I'm just gonna tease you like that. So, this first one is a really unusual jersey, and I think it's really pretty. There's something that reminds me of Liberty about this jersey, but it's not a Liberty jersey, I should make that clear so you don't get confused. But it's a viscose jersey and it's got this lovely kind of English country garden print on it and the, it's got like an ivory background, it's not white, white would be too harsh, it's a nice ivory. Um, but I just love the colours, I thought it was just really unusual. Um, and yeah it's a really lovely weight it's a really nice quality actually so this is one of our fabrics we've been saving this for this vlog so we'll make sure that the link to this and the other two fabrics are in the comments below so this i'm planning on making a wren dress again i think that would be great for breastfeeding and if it's not for breastfeeding it will just be a nice dress to have in the sort of springtime coming into summer um, so that's what I've got planned for this it's going to be quite interesting showing you guys these makes because I won't be able to show them on you on you on me I think I'll put them on a mannequin rather than a hanger because then that's a bit boring anyway so this is the first fabric absolutely love it really lovely quality I um, think it would be great as a molly top actually as well um, so yeah really really nice that's the first one pop them down Next up is this one, which is like a Georgette crepe. Um, so this is quite a vintage -y fabric. I thought the colours were really beautiful. There's like a lovely kind of pinky mauve, if you can see in the design. Um, and yeah, I just love that against the sort of baby blue background. 
So this um, I thought would be nice as a cami. So I'm planning on making a cami with this and Lisa had the idea, other Lisa, LJ, had the idea of doing little ties um, at the top. So we're gonna turn it into like, have little ties at the top so that I could easily untie it again for access for breastfeeding. But I think it'd just be nice as a little feature. So we'll basically extend those straps need to extend the facing as well on the silk cami and then um, turn them into ties. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, making that up. But yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing it in the lovely summer weather that I hope we will have. So that will be fabric number two, I'd rather make number two, um, and is also online. So you can get that from us. And last but not least is this one, which is just a really lovely, viscose rayon, it's got a nice drape to it, it's not too thin um, so and it's lovely and soft viscose is still my favourite fabric I really think it is, like a viscose rayon, just love it um, and this I plan on using for the Rita dress by Name Clothing now I wanted to have the pattern already ordered to show you but I haven't got round to doing that yet. So if I'm clever enough, I'm gonna put it on the screen now. If I'm not clever enough to sort that out, I'll put it in the comments below. But the Rita dress is one of their new dresses that they brought out in their most recent collection that was about a month ago, maybe a bit longer. And it's a lovely shirt dress. And it basically is just kind of, it's quite long. Um, I think it's not quite maxi length, but it buttons all the way down. It's got big patch pockets. It's really loose, looks really cool. And just yeah, really nice everyday shirt dress. And I thought I'm gonna be a bit bold and make it out of this. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll be a nice dress for me to wear this summer. Um, again, shirt dresses I think are gonna be my friends this summer. So um, I'm keen to try a new one. And I'm looking forward to having a go at another pattern. Now, the plan is that I'm gonna make all of these. We will see. I can sit down and sew, but it's not always the comfiest, so if I can't, Lisa has kindly um, gonna sew um, for me so that I can still report back and show you guys. Otherwise it feels a bit mean to be like, these are all my fabrics, but I haven't made anything. So <laughs> she's gonna make them if I can't, so we'll just see. And ideally you'll be able to see them in April, but again, if I don't get round to making them, the baby comes and she doesn't get round to making them, then you'll see them later. But um, I love that I'm just like doing this. <laughs> um, so yeah that's the plan but I have um, so next week I stop work so um, I'm planning just to do some sewing next week and getting on with it so it may be that I'll be ready to show you them next week I'm not sure we will see um, so yeah that's it three fabrics simple and the makes aren't too complicated apart from the Rita dress which will be a little bit more probably of a, of a challenge but um, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how they all come out but that is it, so what am I doing this? So yeah, my last week this week, it's um, it's been a bit of a busy one because Matt's not been very well, so I've been looking after him, um, but he's definitely on the mend. Um, and um, we've got Easter coming up, which um, lots of things that we've booked in, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do them depending on how Matt's feeling, we'll just have to see. Um, but if not, we'll be having a nice relaxing time in London. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a lovely party with, um, all the sew over at staff we had this like night in girls night in in Clapham where we had pizzas and we made cocktails for them and um, we played games and yeah it was just really nice to see everybody and I got some amazing handmade gifts oh my goodness some of the girls and made me some beautiful things like really lovely I'll have to show you um, I'll probably show you them um, in a nursery tour I'm going to do a tour of the nursery over on the Lisa Comfort channel so you'll be able to see them on there but yeah they were just yeah, so lovely and so yeah we had a really nice fun night and I'm basically not going into Clapham now um, until post baby it's just too far but I'll still go into Islington one more time this week and maybe one more time next week although I meant to have stopped by then there's just a couple of things that have kind of overrun which I knew would happen it's bound to happen these things do so I um but I'm really I'm tying up all the loose ends and I feel I feel now it's weird I've gone into a different phase where I really feel ready to stop work and I don't feel as sad about leaving so over it um kind of 
for a, for a short time I just think yeah I'm really ready to stop now I think it's because I'm so big and feeling a bit uncomfortable and yeah just excited to have time with the baby so yay it's a nice time I just hope that um, this baby doesn't wait too long because I'm an impatient person but I guess he'll come or she'll come when she wants but um, yeah I'm just like the hot weather gave me a taste of what it must be like to be pregnant in the summer oh my goodness not very comfortable anyway guys that's it for this week I'm going to show you Poppy because I feel I haven't shown you Poppy for a while so just a sec she's on the on the bed here here she is there we go Pops can you say hello to everybody hey how you been doing but zero 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 kind of you're looking very sleepy aren't you you're not even going to lick me that's a that's a new thing isn't it sorry she obviously was in a big deep sleep I'll put you back I'm gonna try and get Poppy a little haircut before the baby comes. So I'm worried then I won't have time to do it. And she's looking a little bit scracky, scracky, scruff, scruffy, scrappy, scrappy and scruffy. So um, yeah, gonna um, get her a haircut so that she's not too hot this summer. Right guys, I'm waffling as I always do. I'll see you next week. Bye.